it's got it's starting to lose track of the number of British titles you got under your belt. How <laughs> happy are you to have another one? Yeah, it's always good to come and take the titles. Um, shame about the distance wise, but it's another British title at the end of the day uh, in, a, in a challenging year. Yeah, I saw uh, before the championships, you mentioned that you felt you had more in the tank there today. Did, why did that not quite come out as you were mentioning there? Uh, I think a few things really, like um, the circle was perfect here before they relayed it. Uh, now it's quite a bit slower. Um, it is what it is. It's been, as I say, a challenging season. Um, it's been hard to peak because we didn't really know when we were going to be competing and things until not that long ago and, and things like that. So, I mean, I'm, I'm taking the positives really. So I'm, I'm fairly happy with that um, and just keep building. To have this competition in the calendar, to know that you'll be able to test yourself against the best of British, how, how good has that been for you as an athlete? Yeah, it's good. I always like coming to the British Champs. Um, it's one of my favourite in the in the calendar. Uh, I always look forward to, to competing here. And yeah, it's, it's just good to, to get out and compete as well and, and on the sort of big stage in the UK. So. Yeah, how was lockdown? I saw you were getting a little bit creative with your training techniques and things like that. Tell me about yeah, how definitely. you adapted. Yeah, um, definitely. I was one of the lucky ones really, my, my dad owns a warehouse for work and stuff so I, uh, I took half of that over and made a, a throwing circle in the, in the doorway with a big net on it and uh, made like a, a tripod for, for my phone to fit, sit in so my coach could film and, and things so yeah it's good, I've got my gym in there as well so I'm pretty much set really, um, I've managed to keep going right the way through. And knowing that you can kind of make do, does that give you a bit of that gives you a bit of resilience to know that you can continue to train and continue to, I guess, progress even even though everything's locked down. Yeah, definitely. So I just used my hour hour time slot of um, exercise during lockdown and and just went out and made the most of it in the gym in the in the um, in the throwing circle that, that I made and yeah, it's been been challenging, but we're here now and everything's going forward. So that's the main thing. Yeah, everything going forward towards 2021 as well, a big year. Yeah. Um, what, what might you hope to achieve and what would you like to see from yourself in that year? I want to be in the Olympics, definitely. So uh, I'm only 45 centimetres off. I believe I've got the distance in me now, but it just hasn't quite come out this year. Um, little technical issues and things, but it's coming. Yeah, where, how much is that motivation? That's a really clear answer, the Olympics. You know, how, how strong is that motivation to make it? Oh yeah, definitely. It's, it's what every athlete wants. They always want to compete as, as uh, an Olympian. and. Yeah, we'll see what happens in 2021. Do you feel ready now? I suppose you've been on the scene for a long time. Do you feel like this is next year's your year? Yeah, I do, yeah. I, um, I I was ramping up to this year and I felt really good. Even through lockdown, I felt really good and I had some good throws in sort of like April, June, um, during the lockdown. And yeah, I mean, it, we were just waiting to come out and it's quite late in the season now, so we'll take it.